In this practical, a bomb calorimeter will be used to determine the heats of combustion of liquids. The apparatus consists of a bomb, shown, and a calorimeter. Once disassembled, you can see the bomb consists of two sidearms and a crucible. The sidearms have sleeves and a fuse wire can be fed through a hole in the sidearms and clamped in place with the sleeves. A piece of cotton is then tied to the fuse wire and fed into the crucible and the liquid sample then added to the crucible. When run, a high current is passed through the sidearms. This will cause the fuse wire to burn through, igniting the cotton, and the cotton leading into the crucible will ignite the sample. Once assembled, the bomb needs to be pressurized to 8 bar with oxygen. The calorimeter is now assembled. A can of water is inserted. The can plus its contents weigh exactly 3 kilos. The assembled and pressurized bomb is then inserted in the can. The lid of the calorimeter is closed. The stirrer turned on. And the black button at the center of the calorimeter pushed down. If a good contact is made, it will stay down once pressed. Once the ready light on the calorimeter has come on, the apparatus can then be fired by pressing and holding the fire button. Once fired, the temperature should be monitored every minute until it stops rising. At this point, the apparatus can be disassembled.